Hey guys, it's Andrew, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. Hello? I, what was that? Okay, James. Hope you are well. Anyways, okay guys, so I am so excited for this video. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna title it. It doesn't really feel like a clickable concept, so I don't know what you clicked on. <laughs> but, okay, so there's like been this trend on YouTube for like maybe like four years or so. It definitely was like a more popular trend before the pandemic. And that is like these videos where it's like, I let a stranger shop for me, buy me whatever they wanted. I gave a stranger $200 and let them buy whatever. Yeah, you get it. Chris just did one a couple months ago, but then a few weeks ago, Chris did this video where I shopped for him and it was honestly so fun. So I've been wanting to do something like that and then I had the idea grocery shopping. I let a stranger grocery shop for me. Buy me whatever groceries they wanted for my next week. But yeah, I thought it would be so fun to let, pay a stranger to go buy me a bunch of random groceries and then try and make a dinner out of that. It's like a little, it's like a little chopped situation. <laughs> I feel kind of bad asking this of people, but also I think it's kind of fun. So hopefully we find someone who will have fun with it. Obviously I'm gonna tip them well, you know, like 100% tip baby. I'm not sure what courier service I'm gonna use, but I'm thinking I'll just like order one thing or like order a gift card. I'm not really sure how people do it. And then after they accept the order, I'm gonna text or call them and just be like, hey, I'm filming a YouTube video. What, do you want to do this? So I'm hoping to find someone who's down. I'm very excited to see what they get. <laughs> we'll see. I got no idea what I'm eating for dinner tonight. <laughs> did I explain this well? Was that, did that work? All right, I better go to my office and do some research. Research. What the? Rosh, Rosh Hashanah. Happy Rosh Hashanah to all who celebrate. Wait, happy? I should check that. Oh, Shana Tova. Wait. The second syllable of both words. Shana Tova. To all who celebrate. Okay, what if I'm gonna go to my office and do some research. <laughs> okay, I'm not in my office because I didn't want to be. This is more comfortable. I have my iPad right here. Yeah, that's right. I have an iPad. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, this little thing. Sorry, I don't know what that was. All right, I'm looking at Postmates because that seems like what most people do. I don't know what their grocery options are like though. Okay, they have no grocery options, so I'll check Instacart. Okay, I just tried placing an order at Whole Foods for like one thing, and now I'm trying to contact them to see if they'd be down for this. Although, it's not giving me a way to contact the courier directly, so we'll see. Gerald of customer services typing. Okay, it's not going well. He said, are you referring to the Whole Foods physical store? I, sir? I don't know. I can provide an email so that you can submit your inquiry about your concern. Here is the link. So, okay, no. Okay, okay. Uber Eats has grocery delivery. I did not know that. So, I'm gonna try this. I have a special request and it's totally okay if you don't want to do this. But if you're down, I'm filming a YouTube video. Okay, we have received your order and we'll let you know when they start working on it. And now we wait. Oh, please, please work. It's getting late. Please, may this good economy worker be in a silly, goofy mood. <laughs> All right, I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'll update you when I have one. And while we wait, how about, how about I tell you about the sponsor of today's video? This video is sponsored by NordVPN. You may have heard me talk about NordVPN before. Um, I've been using it for a long time now. So like about a year ago, a lot of my stuff started getting hacked, like my Uber account, my Hulu account. So many random little accounts just started getting hacked and I was freaking out. But now I'm chilling because I've been using NordVPN ever since and I feel perfectly safe. So you may have heard about using VPNs before, but essentially, so every time you're using a wireless network in public, like like you connect to the free Wi-Fi at like a coffee shop or you're at the airport. Whenever you're using a public network, you're sending out little little bits of your data through that connection and that is not secure. You know, say there's like a hacker sitting in that coffee shop, hacking away. They can see what you're doing. They can see the websites you're going to and more of your vulnerable information like usernames and passwords. So that's probably what happened to me. I was probably using some unsecured free Wi-Fi at some public place and a hacker was like, haha, gotcha. But Hackers aren't even the only thing you need to worry about because even when you're chilling at home using your own Wi-Fi, your internet service provider can see everything that you're doing and they can sell that information to whoever they want. I have Spectrum 
I have no idea who they're selling my data to, but you don't have to worry about any of that when you use NordVPN. So with just one click of a button, NordVPN encrypts your connection and reroutes it through their own secured servers. So you know, it's like a little underground tunnel for your data and then you're good. You got top of the line encryption. No one can see what you're doing. Your ISP can't see it. Hackers can't see it. Not even NordVPN can see it. They have a strict no logs policy. So they don't collect or share any of your private data. They don't care. They also have over 5,400 servers in 59 different countries. So you can enjoy the internet with no borders. If you want to switch your location to like Canada or the UK, then you can. And every website that you visit will think that you're actually there. And this really comes in handy if you want to like watch TV shows or other things that aren't available in your country. You can just switch on over and then it's available. I mean, it's incredible. And it works on literally any streaming site. So like if there's a Netflix show that isn't available in your country anymore that you want to watch, you can easily just switch over to a different country. So if you want to give NordVPN a try and take back control of your internet experience, well, we're hooking you up. Right now, you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus four months free when you go to nordvpn.com slash loud. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So, you know, go give it a try. That's nordvpn.com slash loud, L-O-W-E, my name, or you can click the link in the description. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and thanks to you all for hearing them out. All right, let's get back to the video. Oh my God, okay, Michelle just started working on my pavilions order and it looks like she's typing in the chat. Okay, okay, what is she gonna say? Should I call her? What's going on? <gasps> she says yes, she said yes. She said, hi Andrew, it's Michelle, your shopper. I'm up for the challenge, sounds fun, off I go. Guys, Michelle is down, Michelle is Cool, Michelle. We are vibing with Michelle. We love Michelle. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm so happy, Michelle. I was been kind of freaking out because no one was saying yes. Alrighty, and now we wait. Ugh, I'm so excited to, to see what she gets. Michelle, is that that's like a TikTok audio, right? That's like a viral audio. Yeah, I'm actually very young, and I know what the kids like. All right, time to cancel all the other orders. Oh, she just sent another message. She is, I love Michelle. <laughs> she literally just said, okay, got it, smiley face. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm so grateful. Okay, Michelle is good to go, she's checking out. Okay guys, she is on her way, she'll be here in a few minutes. She says, my Aussie wife came down to help me, she thought it was a fun task. There is one item we are particularly proud of. So, don't, I can't wait to see what that is. Oh my gosh, she's turning onto the street. Okay, it's here. Get ready to receive your order. I'm ready. All right, I'm sending her a 100% tip. $150. Oh my God, guys. It's here. It's a lot of groceries. It's very heavy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Thank you so much to our wonderful shopper, Michelle. Okay, I think I'm just gonna like start pulling things out like just blindly with my hand. Okay. Ooh, a kimchi. Mild, thank you. If it was spicy, I would have not have, no, I I would, it would be bad. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, hummus. Ooh, gourmet smokehouse hummus. Okay, very interesting. And then tofu, extra firm, how I like it. <laughs> then garbanzo beans, a classic, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, edible flowers. Oh my God, I have always wanted to buy these. Wow, okay, so we're making an elegant dish. Wow, what am I gonna do with these? There's also a sprig of rosemary in here. Not really sure why. Is rosemary a flower? I'm too tired for that right now. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, wonton wrappers. Very interesting, I've never dabbled in this. Wow, okay, I need to try and make like a veganized crab rangoon because, oh, uh, Okay, some sweet and sour porkless bites. Okay, interesting. Interesting. We'll see what we can do with that. Next up, we have some cheddar style shreds. Good to have. But what the fuck is this? Where's the label? Oh, marinated artichoke hearts. Okay, don't necessarily like the sound or look of that, but cool. <laughs> I've never cooked with artichoke before, so spinach and artichoke dip. Good to know. Kale. Next up, oh, a classic. Oh, soy rizo. Wow, I haven't had this in so long. Oh my god. My mom's used to buy this for like some dish we made often. I can't really remember what. Very nostalgic for me. Organic zucchini. Nice. What the fuck is that? Okay, so she went to that section. <laughs> 
What is this? Is this starfruit? Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. Let me download some app that'll tell me. Okay, hold on. Let me Google starfruit. Yeah, okay. I think this is starfruit. Wow, okay. If I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever had starfruit. Don't even know what this tastes like, so we'll figure that out. All right, that's the end of bag one. Next up, we have... Oh my god, what the... What the? <laughs> All right, we got some yucca root. Oh, if you like potatoes, you will love yucca. Boil, bake, mash, or fry. Okay, thank you so much, informational card. I had no idea what I was gonna do with this. Okay, we got some produce. Looks like some heirloom tomatoes. Nice, nice, pretty, very pretty. Beautiful selection. Oh, 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 shirataki noodles. Fettuccine shaped shirataki is neutral in flavor so they can be paired with any of your favorite sauces. Okay. Good to know. This is the stuff that like you open it and it smells weird as fuck, right? <laughs> Yellow squash, so the zucchini doesn't get lonely. Good choice. All right, another thing from that section. What is this? It's not a pomegranate. Is this a passion fruit? Is this, hold on, no? Wait, okay. It looks like a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Like, I don't know much, but I think this could breed fire. Scaly fruit. No, it's not that. Pink fruit with scales. <laughs> oh, 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 dragon fruit. Oh my god, I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> All right, please forgive me, kind of embarrassing. I see what, where, the, where the name comes from. Ah, the receipt, thank you, thank you. We'll keep that. This is a business expense. Some serious business we're doing today. Oh my god, bitch, oh my god. Blueberry oatmeal crumble oat milk. Ice cream, bitch. Oh my god. That little, that little swirl action. Oof. Looking forward to that. All right, what's next? A fudge brownie almond milk ice cream. Thank you. What else? Oh, oh, interesting. All right, here we have a sun-dried tomato plant-based pesto. I don't think I've ever seen a sun-dried tomato pesto, so very interested in this. Oh, that's the end of bag two. All right, plant-based meatballs, another garden classic, thank you. Some beef crumbles. I can get down with some beef crumbles. What the f what is this? Polenta. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Oops. Hello, sir. Mr. Carl Lewis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, we have some soy milk. Okay. Black pearl rice. Oh, very interesting. I don't really know what this tastes like. Wow, that is literally black. All right, interesting. Oh, that's the end of that bag. All right, and then this bag, we... What the? Uh, <laughs> um, what? What the? <laughs> what? Um, what the literal fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Like, what? Did you go to like Narnia? Like, <laughs> did you forage this yourself? Holy! What is this? <laughs> so it looks like some kinds of mushroom mass. I. I am very confused. I did not know things like this were accessible at the grocery store. What the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah. What? What? What is this? <laughs> well, I mean, damn, these are gonna be some fresh ass mushrooms. Michelle, what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, what is this called? Let's find this on the receipt. I'm not seeing anything that says mushroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you like dig, dig this out of the ground? <laughs> What? There is a mysterious item in the produce section that is just called produce, and it's ten dollars. <laughs> is that is that this? I'm guessing that might be it. Kind of was hoping the receipt would give me more information. <laughs> Since when did stores have this? <laughs> what? I am. I mean, I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is everything that our lovely shopper got for us. Alrighty. Alright, what am I, what the, what, what am I gonna do? I'm putting the ice cream in the freezer. Okay, so we got some squash, we got some tomato, some this. I don't even know where to start. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna just go cut this. I just wanna like know what this smells and tastes like. Well, it's a star. Alright, I guess I just eat it now. Let's try it. Okay, huh, okay. It has a very fresh taste, um, but that's about it. <laughs> it kind of doesn't taste like anything. Okay. I, I think I might have led you guys astray. I, I told them that this was gonna be like chopped, but 
I forgot the fact that I am not as good as the people on Chopped. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do with this. <laughs> this is a very gorgeous garnish though, dare I say, so you know. I'm here for this, I'm here for this situation. Wow, gorgeous. Oh my god, literally, oh my god, it's literally, wait. Please, I have to go. I have to I, go. I'm almost too embarrassed to say what I would. It's late at night, please forgive my brain cell quantity as well as quality. I did, for a brief moment of time there, ponder if this is what Patrick Starr was. But no, he, that was a, he was a starfish. You know, two different things. Oh gosh, now I feel like I'm gonna let them down. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this hummus, like this smokehouse hummus, like interesting. Let's see what's going on there. Oh my god, I will not lie, this is very good. A smoky hummus? I've never even thought, but it's a delightful experience. Okay, honestly, I think I might be too tired to figure this out tonight. I might I might just wake up in the morning and then... I don't even know. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, it's the next day. Let's do this, okay. I've been thinking, and I am very overwhelmed by the potential of this. They did a very good job. Like. Oh my god, the contrast between this dark rice and like these edible flowers, fuck. gorgeous. The the speckled black and white dragon fruit, stunning, striking, a showstopper. Also, why do I kind of want this to be like the centerpiece, like with some flowers? <laughs> oh, also, this, see that? That looks like a trumpet mushroom and not like the others. So I'm wondering if this is like a mixed mushroom medley brick thing. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Call pavilions. Hey, um, I have a question. So my friend was like grocery shopping for me and she brought home this like mushroom log. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I guess my question is, do you know like, will it keep growing mushrooms? Um, I don't know. Like somebody else brings it. We don't stock it. Another company called Melissa's, they come and they- It's Melissa's with like the little carrot as the L? Yeah. Correct. Okay, okay. I'll try looking them up and reaching out to them. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm on a mission. Melissa's mushroom log. Okay, I'm calling Melissa's produce wholesale. Don't mind me, sorry. Just taking a call. You've reached the sales department. I'll record your message at the time. I'll take what I can. I would love some more information on that. Thank you so much. All right. Well, maybe I, I'll hear back from them. Okay, yeah, so there's like so much potential so here. I'm looking at the star fruit. I don't really know what to do with it because I don't really like the taste of it on its own. But gorgeous garnish. So I'm thinking a cocktail? I mean, fuck it. <laughs> it's Labor Day weekend. We're having fun here. So I'm kind of thinking I'll like mash this up, strain it through a sieve, and then mix it with some lime tonic water and tequila. Fuck it. <laughs> so you know, we might be losing the original plot here, but <laughs> meals have beverages with them. All right, I got a little bowl and a fine mess strainer. I'm just gonna try and like smash this to get it like juicy. Oh my god. Um, oh, okay. Maybe we're, maybe we'll do a different plan. Holy <laughs> shit, that, that point of view? <laughs> I feel like I just got attacked. Wow, fruit is evolving. Their defense mechanisms have leveled up. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half. Let's just see what this will give us. Now, let's see if I can just... Don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm impressing myself. All right, we got a good amount of juice there. Let's just try a little sip. Wow, okay, I'm excited for this. Wow, okay, brilliant idea, Andrew. Wow, this is like a life moment. <laughs> I don't have a, sh like, cocktail, I don't have cocktail equipment. What do I look like? I'm just gonna shake it in like this mason jar and pour it with like the lid like that. All right, I have one of Chris's cocktail glasses here. All right, I opens the lime and yuzu situation. Y'all, I think this is gonna be really good. I feel like this is a good pairing. All right, I'm gonna add just a drop of this date nectar to give it a little more sweetness. I think those flavors will pair well, because I am a mixologist. All right, let's go, let's pour that in. And then let's pour this in. And then let's do a little drop of this. All right, and then some of the tequila. Oh wait, this is carbonated. Can you like shake? I don't know. All righty, and now we pour. Wow. Y'all, I'm having too much fun. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's get the garnish. Oh my god, okay, and then let's do a little flower garnish. What color? What do we think? Oh my god, these are gorgeous. Wow, Melissa's produce supply is killing it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna plop this down in the middle. Guys, here we have, okay, I cannot carry things steadily. 
Going back down. <laughs> Guys, do you see this shit? Like, who am I? Like, where am I? <laughs> Alright, oh my god, let's try it. Oh my god! I killed that shit! Wow guys, I killed this. I would pay $14 for this. Oh my god, I'm an icon. <laughs> Bitch, you would do it too. Oh my god, I killed that. Like, I'm like satisfied with this video. <laughs> like, not to toot my own horn, but... <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Alright, shit. Yeah, I'm kinda done. <laughs> Actually, here, let's make some yuca root fries. Who am I? Like, Anthony Bourdain? Oh my god. Alright, so I looked it up, and I believe to cut it, you just... And then it's like, literally like, bark, so you gotta like... I watched someone, like, peel the bark off. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I literally like, wish I had a machete. <laughs> Alright, I feel like this is like, self-explanatory. I don't really feel like I need to look up a recipe. Maybe I should though, so I don't get like, food poisoning. Alright, I'm bringing a pot of salted water to a boil, and then I'm gonna throw these in and boil them for 20 minutes. I will update you then! Oh my god, I forgot about this. Like, I wanna go, like, have a photo shoot of myself holding this outside. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, it's a while later. I finished boiled them, I strained them, and then I cut them into these little, like, wedge pieces, and now I have a cast iron pot heating up some oil. Or pan. Alright, the oil is hot, so I'm gonna fry them. Alright, I got those going. We'll get them nice and crispy. They honestly look so fluffy. I feel like they're gonna crisp up very nicely. Okay, y'all, they just, like, keep sucking up oil. I feel like I put so much oil in them. <laughs> and it just keeps disappearing. And then it, they look like they need more. So that's just a little, an update. All right, y'all, I am gonna say these are done. I feel like some are burning and some look like they're not done. So I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna take them off. All right, y'all, this is what they're looking like. They look honestly very good. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. It looks nice and toasty. Okay. Mm, huh? Yeah, that's good. Hold on, I wanted some ketchup. Mm. Wow, 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 all right. Now, now we know. Okay guys, I feel like I kind of miscalculated the structure of this video. Like, I would keep making more stuff and like actually make a meal out of the ingredients. You know, I'd follow the instructions I gave, <laughs> but I feel like this video is gonna be like an hour long. So maybe I'll like make some more stuff with the stuff I got and like post on my Instagram if you wanna follow me there. Or maybe I'll like vlog this week just to have the footage and I'll put it in something else. I don't know. All right, yeah, I feel like I gotta end this video. Maybe I'll do this again sometime and I'll like have a better sense of the structure. Like maybe I'll just say get like five ingredients. But yes, sorry to our lovely shopper, Michelle, for not living up to the potential of the wonderful job you did. I'll do an update somehow. This video is just, but it's taken a while. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this idea and you wanna see me try it a second time with like a better understanding of how it will go, let me know. Oh, and I'll let you guys know if I hear back about that mushroom thing, cause what the fuck? <laughs> but yes, thanks again to Michelle, and thank you all for watching, and yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>